see, I have a new item that I'm going to unbox for y'all. So I ended up getting another cover. I love the black. I really do. Um, this probably is been my favorite purchase, I think, alongside, um, definitely, I love my smaller version to it. All of my accessories, they do match. So I do have, um, like the, the, I think this is a Hobonichi, I want to say, tell me down below, I can't remember, but it does fit my, um, my, this is a mini, um, Basically, it's the size of a mini, but it's half of it. So, like, I can't remember what this one is called. But I put this in here. It fits okay, but I know most people have, like, a bullet journal in here. And then I have also my um, my A7. And this is one with rings. So, I... And I switched out the rings to gold, and like, gold hardware. And I absolutely love all these pieces. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, the quality is great. They've been holding up since I've had them. So, you know, I had to add another piece to my collection. I will try to link it down below. Um, it is just from Amazon because I can order, I've ordered a lot of my pieces from AliExpress, but they do take a long time to come and the prices are varying. So I do pay taxes on this for Canadian price wise, but then if I buy it from, um, AliExpress, it's coming directly from China and I have to wait, um, a little bit longer, definitely for those items. T typically I would say two to three weeks. Um, shipping has been a lot faster, but I'm really impatient. So I ended up ordering the same size again. Um, as I said, if you were in a half letter, and you are willing to go down to, I think this is just a little bit bigger than a mini size disc, then you're good. So that's what I'm doing on here. I have definitely downsized a lot of my inserts. So let's unbox this. So for those who are here just for un unboxing to see what the color I got, then you can see that. And then I'll go into my setup. So definitely, I love it. It's like your opinion matters. I hope this package makes your day. So that is, is definitely going to make my day. So look how pretty. Um, if you've seen me unbox before, you know the Moterm always comes in this black box. And then you do have, let me make sure my address or anything is not in here. So you always get it in this beautiful, um, I don't know if it's, I would assume it's like faux, um, that was a little peak, right? That was like faux suede. And then you have your planner package. Oh, like how pretty is that? So I initially wanted the pebble taupe to match my, um, to match this one. But I thought, you know what? Let's try the pink. They didn't have pebble taupe available, but I wanted to try the pink because I am on this whole like pink kick. I don't know why, but I said in my, um, my saving challenges video, I don't know, in, in these latter parts, of these years I am becoming a lot more of a softer girly girl and I'm liking all the pink things so here we go so it's this always has like your bookmark in here I'm assuming that you could just like cut it off but I do love that it has a the pretty little tab so I I keep it one day I may want to use it so in here you do have a large like um, pocket that you could put like you know your papers whatever you have and then you have another pocket in here which is another large, then you have another one here. So if you're using this for work and you have a lot of things that you like to carry, like it's perfect. So you have one, two, and then three again, plus your very large pocket here at the back. So this is for a Hobonichi or a Salaji. I am keeping a half letter in here. I love how compact it is because I looked at the measurements of actually ordering a half letter because... The half letter on, the half letter is like, I want to say an extra, like almost $50 more. Like it was quite pricey. I think this one was like 70 And then I think the, the half letter was like 135 I want to say. So it's a big jump in terms of pricing. And I was like, I already know that this will fit. I can always take out some inserts. But, you know, for me, it fits pretty perfectly. It gets my pen in there and I like bottom tabs and top tabs as opposed to side tabs anyways. So I am good. So I'm going to probably just transfer everything over here 
or should I just set it up in here and then show you guys at the end? Let's see. So I have all my inserts. I'm going to walk you through this. This is my setup currently right now. And I'm going to change out a few things in here. So maybe I should just completely dismantle this and move into that. So let's just take out everything out of here. And then I can add it there. So these are my little like laminated little clips that I've made. I have some other pieces in the pockets. And I'm going to show you another little hack that I had seen before in terms of keeping it. Because it is a very floppy book, which I do love. But what I did was took a Dollar Tree chopping mat and I, or you could use any plastic, like a firm plastic, and put it in here or back here just to keep it so it's not so mushy and floppy. But I love this soft leather. It's beautiful. So that is it. I'm going to put that to the side for now. And we're going to set it up here. So let's put everything back in here and then I can show you how that works. So you have your um, your planner cover like this. And then I'm, do I want to use this Mickey Mouse one? I don't know. Let's put that up there for now. And then I'm going to stick this back in here. And I, and I rounded out the edges so it's not so like sharp going in. I don't want it to cut the leather. And then I'm just going to stick this back here and it fits really nicely. And then there you go. So there is my, my cover. And let's put these pieces back in here. So if you're curious, this is like a Lord's Prayer that I have in here. And I'm going to stick it right back on top here. And then I keep this one here and it's like, and I just put this sticker from Happy Planner. It says, pray until something happens, but faith without works is no good. So yes, pray about it, but you need to be actually invested and active, right? So, and that's for everything. Even if you do not believe in God, you cannot get anything without, you know, actually putting in effort. So that is the same principle. So this is uh, just positive affirmations for inner peace. And I love it. So that is another little piece. And I'm going to stick that in back in here. And then, you know, I'm, I'm a little melanin deficient. But nonetheless, I love me some melanin. So I'm going to put those girls there. And then I do have some stickers. So I am playing around making stickers. These are my no spend stickers. And I'm going to stick them. Let's see which pocket's less deep. So I could put these here. Um, or maybe let's cut these. So you see my giant scissors? Let's cut these down and I could put them in that little like flap at the bottom. So I'm playing around with my stickers, you know, I haven't added them to my shop, but, um, I definitely need to do that. I see so many like girls who have such beautiful stickers and I'm like, I don't know. My stickers are just kind of subpar. But, you know, you have to have confidence and go with your vision. I'm enjoying my stickers, so that's okay. And in the back, I am going to just stick, same thing too, another chopping mat back here. And I'm going to slide it right into the largest back pocket. And then you are good to go for your setup. So all of these um, things that I'm showing you in here, either I have just printed them from Etsy shops that I've purchased them or off of, um, off of Pinterest and then used Canva to do it, like to print them out. And then I have all these beautiful um, pieces in here. So March is drawing to a close, but I'm not quite ready to put a sticker there. And then I have been keeping her in here. Um, I'm really feeling her because I'm loving this, the affirmed, worthy, loved, cared for. Absolutely. And then this is my monthly. So I put in here all of my YouTube videos. I put a monthly calendar so I can keep track of all the videos I'm posting. And if I have any business, um, if I have to mail anything out, from like a purchase then I can do all of that in here so I have been um really enjoying just having one insert for that and but what I did was this month I'm actually I switched it up 
I made a new insert, so I'm showing you what the new style looks like. So I did modify a little bit. I ended up putting my logo under there and adding something in the middle because as you can see, there's nothing here. And then just changing up sort of that setup. So I had it over here, so I just changed it. And then these um, are not added to the website, but I want to play around with it. I make my inserts, um, obviously, for myself, things that work for me. But, you know, you can give me feedback in terms of what you would probably be interested in if you are looking for sort of undated inserts to play around with. So I did put the same pattern inside. And this is what it looks like. So this is your monthly, um, month at a glance. So I'm just going to put these in here and show it to you as I go along. And then when you go, I ended up modifying this as well. So here is my subject layout, which I did modify. Um, what I was doing initially was I had, um, I had this like check it off sort of layout. And then I was like, mm, you know what, this month, let's try a subject layout, but not so many different subjects. Because what I did with the last subject layout is I had five boxes but I thought three would be good. I could do like YouTube, um, like website and orders, and then social media. And then I have some lines down here that I could put some notes, things that I want to do, things I want to carry over to next week. And it's all undated. So I am loving this so far in terms of how it looks. And then I will definitely keep you guys posted in terms of how that will go so you put your subject there some stickers whatever you want to do and then at the back it just says notes and down here it is a check it off um, to do so that is what it looks like each week and i am going to play around with this layout for this month and see if i like it so here is my finances section i think i'm going to keep um i like this but i think i'm going to remove this one this this month and put in this for my finance section and maybe I'll bring that back in but I think that's pretty layered like that and then next will be next will be what my um, right here is my singing funds balance I keep that in here and then I just have each month in here in terms of my expense tracking so this is January's February's is here and then I have March so I think what I can do right now is so it's not so bulky is take out January and February those are long gone like it's crazy that I'm adding in like March like it's crazy to me I meant sorry April so here's my March I'm still in here and then I have now I did the same thing where I printed off with um, like that pattern inside and then that monthly will go here and at the back I normally keep like my cash envelopes like each week and so funds but I haven't been updating this but we'll see how that goes so that is my insert now for April so March and April will stay in here for a while and then let's keep going so next is where I keep my my budget section and I just print off um, and I make these like tabs here and then I have January and so I have now in here January February which this one could probably go to and then now I have in here March because it gets a little bulky once you start adding like washi tape and stuff and then I have April already in here and then that should be good and then my income is here, which I do not share completely how much I make because to me, some things, as, I, as I've always stated, are private. So here are my subscriptions. And then I have a list of all the things that I have as expenses for the business. And then the last page, I think, is empty so I can show you. This is where I would track my monthly income. So I ended up um, modifying this. That way I can put down how much I'm making um, each month, January through December, and what my addition is and the balance is that I've made in total. So I do have my passwords. They're all kind of like paper clipped for privacy. And then here is like my brainstorming section. And I have that clip for privacy as well. And then I just keep some little, you know, extra pieces back here. 
So that is my setup for this month going into April. Like that's crazy. So as you can see, I'm, I'm loving this like size. And as you can see, it fits it so comfortably. And it's such a perfect carry. If I needed to throw this in like a tote bag or something like that, like a purse, I could still do that. It's super lightweight because, you know, but I don't know if I'm going to like this color with this, but you see, so you can add all your stickers, everything in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this setup for um, this month, for the month of going into now April. So if you have any questions, I will try to remember to link um, the Amazon shop where, and if you just go into Amazon, because I know I have some U.S. girls on here or U.S. boys, um, depending and if you go to amazon.com or .ca, depending where you are in the world, or even .uk or, you know, what other domain um, you would link, you just go to Motum's, more, Moterm, M-O-T-E-R-M, because that's what it says on here. And then you would just look up um, in their store, because I know, I think I, I went on the .com and they had some other like items that we don't have available in the Canadian store. So you have to play around, see what they av are, are available. But as I said, this is the Hobonichi Stylogy. It will fit a half letter, which is fabulous. And technically it's like an A5. So I think it fits a little smaller, but yeah, I'm loving the setup. I'm loving the pink. So as I said, leave any comments down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out. And then I will see you guys on another video. Bye.